We've been here before. I've made predictions about GIMP based on things that the project has said and people involved in and things like that. I am not going to try to make any predictions anymore. It's not going to happen. GIMP 3 is going to be ready when it is ready. That was supposed to be sometime last year. And according to the timeline, is supposed to be... Supposed to be... Um... Sometime in the next, uh... Six days? How many days are in June? However many days are in June. I don't think that's gonna happen. Look, it could. But it's probably not. Honestly, at this point, I don't think it's gonna happen this year. Hopefully I'm wrong. I really want it to be ready, but... Again... It'll be ready when it's ready, but some people are a little bit more hopeful than I am. But when the change is made, you might think that making the change for a distro is going to be easy. Just ditch GIMP 2 and move the package to GIMP 3. But a recent Fedora change proposal has a very different idea. This was proposed by Niels Philipson from Red Hat, and... This has been through a number of different iterations because there has been quite a bit of feedback on the approach that was given here. So we'll start with the initial approach and then work our way to where it's evolved to. Basically, as we move from Fedora 40 into Fedora 41, assuming GIMP 3 actually releases, which is a very big assumption, the GIMP package, the main package called GIMP, was going to have the GIMP 2 version. And then GIMP 3 would be installable through a whole new package called GIMP 3. Now, this might seem counterintuitive. Like, why wouldn't you want the more up-to-date version to be in the main package and then have the legacy version in a separate package? Now, a couple of different reasons were suggested here. One, allowing users to have both versions installed side by side, but either solution is going to let you do that. As long as you have two separate packages that install things to different locations, that is something that can be done. The other thing is if you have GIMP installed, you might be reliant upon certain plugins that, because the plugin system is drastically changing, are just not going to work on GIMP 3 until there's been some porting effort, or in some cases, rewriting from the ground up. So for some people out there, if you were using GIMP 2, and then the GIMP package suddenly upgraded to GIMP 3, your entire workflow would be completely broken, and you'd have to then go out of your way to fix it by installing the GIMP 2 package again. By doing it like this, it continues things working, and then when you are ready to upgrade, then you can upgrade. Now, another thing that makes the migration from GIMP 2 to GIMP 3 difficult is GIMP 2 is so old, it relies on Python 2. Now, Python 2 is very, very EOL. 2020 is when Python 2 died, and to the best of my knowledge, in most distros, and Fedora included, GIMP is basically the only reason why Python 2 still exists in the repos. Doing anything regarding keeping GIMP 2 around is gonna keep Python 2 around as well, but if you take the GIMP 2 application out of the GIMP package and put it into a new package called GIMP 2, and then have GIMP 3 take over the main GIMP package, this is going to require a bit of Fedora managerial nonsense. So, because GIMP 2 is the only reason that Python 2 is going to be kept around, and it's going to be in a new package, it's going to create something known as an exception process. And Nils thinks that might be a bit of annoyance to go through and just doesn't want to have to deal with it, basically. For this last one, is it a real problem that actually affects the packaging, that actually affects the user experience? Not really, it's just managerial nonsense getting in the way of doing things in a way that just makes sense. And Neil Gomper doesn't really think it would get that much in the way anyway, saying that it would be pretty easy to get an exception for GIMP 2 here. Now I know there is a lot of desire to completely kill off Python 2, and GIMP 2 is basically the only reason it's still around, and yes, I get it, Python 2 has been sunset for quite a while, as I mentioned earlier, but I do think there is still some value in keeping GIMP 2 around at least for one more cycle. Just give people time, assuming GIMP 3 is ready, of course. If it's not ready, then keep it around as long as you need to. But 
one more cycle to make sure people are actually ready to do the migration. People who are actually using GIMP to do actual work, which I know you might think it's crazy, but these people do exist. Give them time to make sure everything is ready and make sure it's as clean of a migration as it possibly can be. It's going to be rough no matter what, but giving some time to at least make sure things or at least known about, right? Because if you're not watching my videos, you're not reading Linux news and things like that, you're just like the everyday Linux user, you may not even know that this change is happening. But this also affects people on the flip side as well. Let's say that you don't rely on any plugins, you don't rely on anything outside of what comes in the default version of GIMP. So you install Fedora, you install GIMP, and you know that GIMP 3 is out, but you installed the package and it's not GIMP 3, it's GIMP 2 still. So now you have to go out of your way to install this whole separate package to get the application, which logically you would assume that if you're installing the package called GIMP, you're going to get the latest version of the application. Users expect to install GIMP and get the latest version, and version 3 won't be new and different for long. This is how compatibility packages work almost everywhere in the distribution, it makes eventually retiring the old version less disruptive. It makes the latest version the implicit default, and consistency with the usual practice in the distribution reduces user confusion. So if you're going to keep GIMP2 around, basically put it into a package called GIMP2, and then have the main package always be the up-to-date version. In the same vein, imagine back in 2004 if instead of having GIMP2 become the main version of GIMP, there was a separate package called GIMP2, and the main package stayed at version 1. Obviously, nobody would have wanted that. Now, funnily enough, Nils has been around long enough in the project that if that actually did happen, he probably would have been the person that was responsible for doing so. While most people are in favour of keeping GIMP2 around at least temporarily, not everybody is, and some people just want to get rid of it entirely. We want to retire Python 2 from Fedora after CentOS 7 EOL, RHEL 7 Maintenance Support 2 end, RHEL 8, Python 2.7 Application Stream Retirement Date. All of that is scheduled to happen at the end of this month. Now that doesn't mean it's going to be gone from Fedora at the end of this month, but the Red Hat side of things is no longer going to be touching it. Now whether or not Python 2 even exists in Fedora 41 is entirely dependent on what happens in this discussion and what happens with GIMP. Is GIMP 3 actually going to be ready? We need to ax them together, and I was planning on proposing a change proposal depending on what the outcome of this discussion is. If GIMP was any other application, it was a file manager, it was some random little screen recorder, nobody would be putting this much effort into keeping Python 2 around. The only reason is because GIMP 2 is such an important application. Considering that GIMP 2 is basically the only thing still blocking Python 2, or at least the only thing that actually still matters, when GIMP 3 is ready, why even bother having a package for GIMP 2? Why not just move it into a copper repository? So copper, for anyone who doesn't know, is basically Fedora's equivalent of Arch's AUR or Ubuntu's PPAs, where it's not the main way to install applications. The applications in that repo are third party, but the repo itself is run by the project. This would keep GIMP2 around for those who still need it, but it would move it out of the main responsibility of Fedora and make it so it's no longer blocking Python 2 and Python 2 can just be removed and finally that era can be over. Now, as with any change you might make, this is going to cause some additional issues. Firstly, you need to know about Fedora's Copper, you need to know how to interact with Fedora's Copper, and you need to know that GIMP2 is actually available on Fedora's Copper. Now, I do think long term, yeah, it's going to appear in there, and if someone wants to keep maintaining a package, they can go ahead and do so and maintain the dependencies it needs. They can go ahead and do that. That is totally fine, but... As I said earlier, I think keeping it around in the main repos, at least for one cycle, just because of how long GIMP2 has been around for, 
probably makes a bit of sense. Now, after quite a bit of discussion, this seems like the direction it's probably going to go down, but not in the way that was initially proposed. Now, as with every Fedora change proposal, it's a proposal until it's actually confirmed. So things can still absolutely change. Also, GIMP 3 is just not out yet, so there's that whole matter to deal with as well. So in Fedora 40 and lower, GIMP is not a meta package. So if you install GIMP, you install GIMP 2. And that is not going to be changing. In those versions, you're going to have the option of installing a optional GIMP 3 package, and that would install GIMP 3. Right now, GIMP 3 is 2.99.18 pre-release, so we'll see where that goes from here. In Fedora Linux 41, this is where you can start making some big changes, and GIMP 2 is still probably going to be available, but the GIMP package itself is going to become a meta package, and that will give you the choice of installing the GIMP 2 package, or the GIMP 3 package, or both if you want them. This would give you the best of both worlds and will make it explicitly clear what version you are trying to install. But along with this, if you upgrade from Fedora 40 up to Fedora 41 and you have the GIMP package installed, it's going to install the entire meta package and not just a single part of it. So you'll have both GIMP 2 and GIMP 3 pre-installed. And then if you don't want GIMP 2 or you don't want GIMP 3, then you can go and get rid of it. Yes, it's blow, blah, blah, blah. But this would make it a relatively clean migration so you don't end up having any regression in functionality until you choose to have that regression. But as I've said, this all relies on GIMP 3 actually shipping. Maybe it happens, but I just don't think it is going to be ready in time for Fedora 41. So should a pre-release or an RC like this be shipped as the main package? Should this still go ahead, even though it's not completely ready? Well, here's what Nils had to say. I don't see making an RC available as an option to users as a bad thing, especially if it can hasten the removal of Python 2 in Fedora Linux. This has been long overdue. It would be much more than just nice if we could spare the Python SIG from maintaining it beyond the five-year anniversary of its upcoming end of life. It's not as if the switch to 3.0 will somehow make any lingering bugs vanish. Well, it'll make any bugs that are in the current version hopefully vanish, but it's not like in 3.0 things are going to be completely perfect. There are bugs in every version of the software. There just hopefully should be less bugs by the time they are ready to do 3.0. I do think there is an argument to be had if they were shipping it maybe like a year ago, right? Like the devs of GIMP think it is going to be ready. They thought it was going to be ready this month, but they think it's going to be ready this year. So it's going to be in a mostly ready state, and a lot of people are making use of GIMP 3 on Flatpak, and it seems like it's going well. And every time I go back to it, it seems like it's a lot better than it was before. I haven't actively used it in a while, so I can't really comment on that. If the application is in a good enough state, I think it's fine to ship it. I do think Upstream should be consulted first, though, just so they don't have a ton of extra people using a pre-release version thinking that it is completely ready. Now, Fedora is going to do Fedora things. I don't expect this migration to be as complex on other distros. On Ubuntu, I kind of just expect them to swap versions between releases. So to go from, I don't know, 25.04 with GIMP 2 to 25.10, now it's GIMP 3. It's GIMP 3 now, hey, it's fine. If you want the other one, Snap or PPA or something. Arch is probably just going to go and take the package, and then when it's ready, just upgrade it. And then the GIMP 2 package just gets demoted to the AUR if somebody wants to maintain it. As for other distros, they'll probably do a mix of these approaches, but at the end of the day, if you need to keep using GIMP 2, there's probably going to be a flat pack, there's probably going to be an app image, there's probably just going to be a third party package available for your distro if you really need to do so. Hopefully you don't, and hopefully you can make use of GIMP 3 when it is ready, but sometimes you just need to wait a little bit longer for things to be ready for you.
when GIMP 3 is ready, are you going to be ready to use it? Or is there something about GIMP 2 you still rely on, whether it's a plugin or a setting you know is going to be missing or some weird bug that you build your workflow around? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, Liberapay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... I'm honestly not sure if everything I have is going to work. I'll need to test things.